If you play a lot of video games on the go and are currently looking for a wireless gaming earbud that does not suffer from wireless latency issues, has some active noise cancelling, and can put up a fancy RGB light show for those around you, then today's earbuds might be just right for you. Hey, what's up everybody, I'm Edward. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and going through the specification of Razer's 2021 revision of the Hammerhead True Wireless Gaming Earbuds. And also having reviewed Razer's more expensive True Wireless Pro Earbuds, I will also be sharing my 4 months later usage feedback while doing brief comparisons to the Pro version to help you decide if you should pay extra for the Pros. So, hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and let's find out if you should spend $130 on these gaming earbuds. Opening up the small box, you'll immediately find this charging case which looks identical to the Pros and still using a matte back finish that is very prone to scuffs and scratches. Underneath that, there are two additional pairs of black silicone ear tips of different sizes and a slightly short USB-A to C cable used for charging. Flipping open the lid of the charging case, you'll find the True Wireless earbuds blinking those sexy RGBs letting you know that it's ready for pairing. Appearance-wise, the 2021 version earbuds also look identical to the True Wireless Pros but instead has a glossy black finish this time. They're still slightly difficult to take out from the case, but I find the glossy finish a little easier to grip onto compared to the matte finish on the Pro version. Strange, right? <laughs> As for the specifications of the 2021 Razer Hammerheads, each earbud weighs at around 5.5 grams and totals to 53 grams, which is 3 grams lighter than the AirPods Pro. It uses Bluetooth 5.0 for low latency and low energy consumption, and for my usage, can maintain a stable connection even when my phone is not in the same room as me. There's also an additional gaming mode connection that reduces the latency to around 60 milliseconds, which almost closes the gap between wired and wireless earphones. Almost. As for the drivers, the Razer Hammerhead uses the same loud and powerful 10mm drivers as the True Wireless Pros that by default can sound a little bit flat, but fortunately can be tuned via Razer's EQ software. There's also active noise cancelling to help keep you focused on the game audio, and an ambient mode which lets in outside noise which I'll talk more about in the feedback section. The earbuds still use the same clunky touch tap controls which can be customized by Razer's app and this time around features a logo that lights up with Razer's RGB. Other features include IPX4 water resistance rating making these earbuds suitable for sweaty workouts but unfortunately lacks a proximity sensor in order to extend battery life. So there's no auto pausing your media when you remove one earbud. As for the battery life, the 2021 Hammerhead True Wireless will last around 6.5 hours per charge with ANC and RGBs off, with an additional 26 hours worth of charge in the case. With both ANC and RGBs on, I get around 4 hours of usage which matches the number on Razer's website, though there's no wireless charging support for the case so that's a bummer. As for the microphone on these earbuds, here's how they sound like recorded over the Bluetooth on my iPhone. There's no difference in sound quality when recording on my Android phone compared to the iPhone, as this is as good as it gets. The microphone also does this a passable job in filtering out background noise as demonstrated here, but at best, it is passable for answering calls on the go, so it would not be my ideal choice of microphone for important online meetings and streaming if I'm not on the move. Instead, I would choose something like the Mauno PM471 condenser microphone who also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Mauno's PM471 microphone features an all-in-one package that is very very easy to set up and use. As simple as plug and play, it comes with a premium metal pop filter effective in blocking out most plosives, and a removable iron tripod so that you can mount the mic on a boom arm. The PM471 also comes with a shock mount to help reduce noises caused by vibration, and the whole unit features a compact design that makes it easy to use on your desk or bring it around with you. The Cardioid Pickup Pattern Mic has a high sampling rate of 192kHz at 24 bits for its asking price, and has a wide frequency response from 20 to 20,000Hz which I find can reproduce your voice a lot more accurately than those mics on gaming headsets. There is also a zero latency feedback 3.5mm port for your headphones and a microphone gain adjustment knob on the body which I find both to be very helpful features, again especially for the price. So 
If you're a streamer or do a lot of podcasts, consider abandoning those headset mics and upgrade to the Mauno PM471 USB microphone. Because for only $40, you'll be getting a feature-packed microphone that, in my opinion, performs quite well and not burn a big hole in your wallet. So check out the link in the description below for more details. All right. So for the past four months of using the Hammerhead True Wireless as my daily driver since my AirPod Pros died, I honestly find them to be pretty average, but not in a bad sense. For basic use such as answering calls and joining online meetings, they're sufficient and can get the job done. The Axiom noise cancelling does its job of filtering out my talkative co-workers chatter to some degree during meetings, but there will still be some voices that cannot be cancelled out, especially ladies' voices. Maybe this is meant to be a feature for us male gamers so that when our significant other calls our name, we won't be getting in trouble for not being able to hear them. But when consuming media or playing games with the active noise cancelling on, they do a very good job in blocking out most of the noise, particularly thanks to how loud the 10mm drivers can get. From experience, the ANC works great for constant steady low frequency noises like for example uh, aircon hums, airplane and car engine noise, but not so great against high frequency and sudden noise spikes. As for the ambient mode, it works, but I find that if there are currently sounds playing on the earbuds, I cannot really make out what is being said to me until I pause the music or game. It's not as loud and lacks clarity and does not sound very natural, so I find myself still taking off one earbud often. The pro versions do a slightly better job in both the ANC and ambient mode, but overall, Razer's active noise cancellation technology still has ways to go before achieving levels like Sony and Bose's headsets. Now, for how well these gaming earbuds sound, for music, they sound okay for a non-audiophile with a balanced sound and can be tuned to your liking with the equalizer in Razer's mobile app. But I find that no matter how much I try to tune them, I cannot get the 2021 True Wireless earbuds to sound as good as the THX profile on the Pro versions. But if listening to music was your main purpose of buying a headset, then you probably won't be considering these earbuds in the first place as these wireless earbuds only really shine when it comes to gaming. When it comes to gaming on the go, it is where the 2021 Hammerhead True Wireless really stand out against other wireless earbuds in this price range. The low latency gaming mode introduced with the first generation Hammerhead Wireless still performs flawlessly without any audio delays. And this time around, there was no noticeable delay no matter which platform I used the earbuds with, probably due to the newer Bluetooth 5.2 version instead of 5.0. And even though there's no spatial audio support on mobile phones like on the Pro versions, you can still use the software-based surround emulation on PCs to get surround sound. So overall, I think the 2021 Razer Hammerhead True Wireless is a great pair of earbuds specially catered toward gamers on the go that do not want the hassle of a dangling wire. With its excellent wireless connectivity on iOS, Android devices, and other portable gaming devices, it is primarily suited for gamers who want a pair of buds mainly for gaming on the go, with media consumption and answering calls as a supplementary function. And if you want this excellent wireless connectivity, along with slightly better sound and spatial audio, then consider the Hammerhead True Wireless Pro when they are on discount. Alright, thank you guys as always for watching. If you have any questions about these earbuds, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask them on my Discord server. And if you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, hit that like button and share this video with a friend as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it. And I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!